What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna take two different retro style D-pads, the Nintendo Switch Online Super Nintendo controller and the retro bit Sega Saturn controller, and we're gonna see who has the better D-pad. And I will say, of all the D-pads out there in the universe, all the D-pads, like the best two got chosen to be used on the Nintendo Switch. And they're not, you know, it's like for example, the Sega controller, you can use that on different consoles, PCs, whatever. But in this video, we're just primarily focusing on the Nintendo Switch. So first controller here is actually from Nintendo, and they package this thing really well, um, especially considering the box got really banged up in, uh, in transport. So I'm glad they boxed it inside of two boxes. And uh, man, this thing is uh, <laughs> this thing's packaged up really, really good. I'm definitely going to need the knife to, to open this box up. But uh, yeah, so the Nintendo Switch comes with uh, the Joy-Cons, right? And the left Joy-Con just has those face buttons that you use, kind of like a D-pad. But, you know, for platform fans, retro game fans, you know, meet shooters, um, you know, those of you that love shooters, you know that that, that left Joy-Con can be troublesome. Now, there are ways to mitigate that. Obviously, when you use a Switch Pro controller, you have a D-pad on there. Although it's not the greatest, it is, it is usable, but... If you want that Switch left Joy-Con, you're probably going to go out and get a Hori uh, Switch left Joy-Con like I did. And it's not the greatest, but it is okay. And here's the packaging now. If you want this controller, you have to order it directly from Nintendo. It's gonna it's the thirty dollar controller, and you have to sign up for their online service. So it's like forty some dollars in total. Um, I think that's a decent deal. I, I kind of agree with the way Nintendo went about uh, distributing these things because if they didn't do that. Scalpers would have bought all of them up. I think everybody, every account can get two controllers. You know, all the scalpers would have bought these things up. These things would be like probably over a hundred dollars right now. So I'm really glad Nintendo went the route that they went down to mitigate a lot of the the scalping and uh, third party sales of these controllers. But uh, man, this controller, I, I just want to say, I'm recording the audio over top of this video right now. I've used the hell out of this controller at this point. It's uh, it's great. It could look comes with a Type C cable. That's that's always a good thing. Although I haven't used that one yet. I just use the one for my Pro controller. Works fine. Um, man, this controller is so badass, guys. I can't even. I cannot recommend this thing enough. It is. <laughs> maybe I'm spoiling things a little too, too much right now, but this controller is awesome. It feels just the way you would think that a regular Super Nintendo controller would feel. You know, maybe I should probably put the two, the two side by side, but I don't need to because it's exactly the same. It feels the same. I mean, there are, you know, L2 and R2 triggers on the top, as you can see right here, that obviously they aren't in the original. There's a Type-C port. That's not on there either. But anyway, let's move on to the Sega Saturn controller now. This thing ain't no slouch. And although it's $5, I, I'd say it's a little bit more. Nah, nah. It's five dollars more, but then again, the Switch controller you need that online service. I got this controller at Micro Center for thirty-five bucks, and um, I saw it at the time. I had just gotten that Switch controller for the Nintendo Switch Online, and God, I saw this in Micro Center, and I knew I knew when it came out. I saw the ads for it and stuff, and I I just I had to have it. I had to have it and try it out. Now the main difference with this controller, other than the D-pad being circular, would be that you have to have a dongle to use this on your Nintendo Switch, which would make it a little trickier to use. I mean, you can use an adapter, but it would make it trickier to use if you just had the tablet, you know, like leaning up against like a kickstand or something like that. You're gonna need uh, something to prop it up even higher to put that Type C to USB converter in there, so you can actually plug the dongle into the tablet. So there is that, and that does kind of suck, but, I mean, you're going to use one of these controllers to play on your TV, right? You know, at least I do. Anyway, this controller comes in a very handy carrying case, and that is awesome. Look at that. I mean, of course I'm going to save the box that it sits in, of course, you know, but it's awesome that it comes in a carrying case. Um, you know, maybe, I don't know, Nintendo package their stuff okay, too, but not like this. So, as you can see here, we have the controller, which is awesome. And we have two dongles, one for the Sega Saturn and a USB dongle to be used on things like um, the Nintendo Switch, the PC. Um, supposedly this thing works on the PlayStation 3 as well. I don't know why it wouldn't work on the PlayStation 4, but works on the PlayStation 3. You got a couple shooters on there. Hardcore Uprising's on there. That's a cool Konami platformer nobody's talking about. Um, I will say the button configuration on this thing is not what it is on the Nintendo Switch Super Nintendo Online controller. 
but it is acceptable. But for games like Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon 2, it'll work. For games like Xeno Crisis, it will not because you need those directional buttons on the right side of the controller to help aim, and they're like completely backwards on this controller. So unfortunately, if you want to use this to play Xeno Crisis, um, it's, it's going to be a little bit hard for you. In the box, you're going to notice that there's two different dongles, one for the Sega Saturn and a USB dongle for use on the Nintendo Switch PC and the PS3, what other systems it can be used for, I have no idea. All you have to do is hit the button on the dongle, they pair right up, and it's pretty much plug and play. Now, the Nintendo controller, you don't need that because it's a Nintendo licensed controller, but with everything considered, I really like the versatile, versatile, versatileness, the versatility, that's it, versatility of this controller compared to the Nintendo Switch controller, but it's all about that D-pad, and this is the game we're testing, one of my favorites, s -Prayed. Let's check it out. Okay, this was a hard choice. Although both of these controllers are really good and I recommend them both, I gotta give it to the Super Nintendo controller. It's got the best D-pad. So if you want the best D-pad, you're into retro games, you're into shooters, get that Super Nintendo controller from Nintendo. It's 30 bucks on their eShop and you won't be disappointed. Anyways, guys, till next time. Peace.